as much as something we do. It's powerful truth. You do. Faith will make you do. It's a do. It's a doer. It pushes you to do. Amen. We have seen that faith is not hoping that we will see the answer in the future. Faith is believing that we have the answer now. We have it now. Now, this is where a lot of people get messed up and confused. You have it now. You may not have it in your hand, but you will have it in your hand. You will. But you have faith now. Faith is now. Absolutely now. Right now. That's when you have it. Amen. Faith is believing that you have the answer now. The eyes of faith. Now, this is going to get into visualization here. The eyes of faith see the answer as having already happened. You got a book? Underline that. Underline that. You see it with your eyes of faith. You see it. Okay? As something has already happened. Thank you, Jesus. Now, when we, were, when we had Zion over here at the Barrington, Barrington campus, Barrington College campus, uh, I used to teach a little faith to the students. And one of the things that I stressed was visualization. Now, visualization is taught by many groups. They're taught to visualize. See yourself as successful. See yourself as thin. I have to work on that one. You know, <laughs> see yourself as doing what you want to do. You want to do it? See yourself doing it. There's a piece of faith there. And so the kids would come after me. They'd say, this is New World Order teaching, New World Order. And it's true. It is. But I said, I don't care. They stole it from us. We're not taking it from them. I'm not taking any New World Order teaching. This is ancient. This is in the book. This is ancient. New World Order, no New World Order. This is God's teaching. So I, got, I began to really hone in on that. They had a hard time because this is no... I saw somebody teaching us. So what? This is the book. This is the book. So God wants you to see it. You've got to see it. You've got to see the answer. And he's right. You're going to see... We're not going to get into it so much tonight, but you're going to see that seeing it is half of the battle. Because if you see it, you won't see the problem. You won't see what's bothering you. You won't see what's going on. You'll see the answer. This is a big thing. So, go with us to Proverbs here. The first references in this, uh, this is great, really great. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. Now, Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. My son, I like the way it's addressed to us, my son. God feels that we're his sons. We are. We're his sons. He talks to us like a son, like a father. Isn't that great? Doesn't that make you feel good? Amen. My son. <clears throat> attend, attend to my words. Incline thine ear, your ear, unto my, say, my sayings. Number one, attend to my words. In other words, focus on them, get into them, think about it, read it, study it. Incline your ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Now this is the same thing that Psalm 1 says. Verse 1. In the Lord does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You know, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. There it is, right there. You stay in the word. You've got to stay in the word. And you've got to speak the word. Okay? Let them not depart from thine eyes. Don't, wish, don't look at something else. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Where your will is in the center of your heart. Right there. Keep the word in the center of your being. Okay? For they, the words, are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Woo! Health to all their flesh. There it is. That's powerful. That is powerful. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Powerful. <clears throat> 
Notice that the scripture says, let my words not depart from thine eyes. Notice that. Isn't that good? Let the words of God not depart from your eyes. Amen. Glory to God. Many people fail because they see themselves as failing. If they are sick, they think of themselves as dying. God's word says himself, Jesus, took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. Matthew 8, 17. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 8, 17. If that word does not depart from before your eyes, you are bound to see yourself without sickness. Come on now. That's right. Without sickness. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And without disease, you will see yourself as well. If, however, you do not see yourself as without sickness, then that word has departed from before your eyes. And even though God wants to make health a reality in your life, life cannot, he cannot, because you are not acting on his word. you got to act on his word. That's the big thing. Notice also the 22nd verse. 22nd verse. For thy words, okay, for thy, uh, thy words, or for my words are life, your life, unto thee that find them, and health to all their flesh. Health to their flesh. And he says that in the Hebrew, <coughs> this healing is like the word for medicine. It's like the word for medicine. Many people, okay, many people fail because they are not seeing themselves as, as, fu as, uh, as fully, 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 fully healed. Now, let's keep going. The Hebrew word translated here, help, here, is also the word for medicine. In other words, God's word, or my words, are medicine to all their flesh. Woo, come on. Say hallelujah. My words are medicine to your flesh. Isn't that, isn't that credible? It is, yeah. It is, yeah. <clears throat> the first two verses of this passage tell us the directions for taking this medicine. One of the first things you've got to do is take the medicine as prescribed. Now, that's where my wife comes in because I have a hard time with that. I want to take more, I want to get better, I want to do this, I want to whatever, you know, fiddle around with it. Okay, I'm healed now, I don't eat it anymore, you know. The doctor said, no, six days, you know. All right. Tell us the directions for taking the medicine. What are these directions? Attend to or study God's word and keep them in the midst of thine heart or obey this word. That's powerful powerful. And what is God's medicine? My words are life unto those that find them. They're life. God's word is life unto those that find them and medicine to all their flesh. But the medicine has to be taken according to directions in order to work. And one of the directions is let them, my, the, my words, not depart from thine eyes. Keep looking at what the word says. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking at what the word says. Stay in the word night and day. Memorize the word. That's why we're giving out these scriptures from week to week. Memorize the word. Get it in you. You know? Too many people pray and pray, but they never are themselves with they never see themselves with the answer. They just see themselves getting worse. Now, that's not what God wants. They keep looking at the wrong thing, at the symptoms, at conditions, at themselves. And they walk in unbelief and destroy the efforts of their own prayer. So you can destroy the efforts of your own praying by how you think and what you talk and what you say. 
I have to be careful with that. Sometimes I get aggravated and say something I shouldn't. And it's negative to what I'm praying. You can't do that. Get your mind on the answer. See yourself as having received. Constantly affirm. Or as constantly speak it. Even in the face of contradictory evidence. That God has heard your prayer. Because the word says so. That's when you'll get results right there. Say hallelujah. Come on. That's when you're going to get results. Glory to God. Amen. You have to believe that you've got it before you can receive it. That's where most people get it backwards. They want to receive they want to receive it first and then believe it. No. You've got to believe it first before you can receive it. Yes. Say hallelujah. Glory to God. You've got it before you can receive it. What things soever you desire when you pray, this is Mark Mark eleven twenty four. Believe that you receive them. Believe that you receive them. Believe. And you shall have them. That's it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The believing comes before the receiving. Believing comes before the receiving. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There are those who say, I'm not going to believe anything I can't see. But in the natural, we believe a lot of things we can't see. The whole world became alarmed when atomic bombs were being exploded, releasing radioactive material into the atmosphere. You can't see it or feel it, but it is a destructive power nevertheless. That's right. You can't see radiation, but it'll kill you. It'll do you in. Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> Glory to God. I'm going to read the next verses from Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. For he hath said, I will never leave you, thee, you, nor forsake you, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. I'm not going to fear it. Thank you, Jesus. Never going to fear it. Never, ever, 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 ever. Thank you, Lord. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't have a problem with fear, but you're just going to have to fight it and learn how to get over it. Say hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are boldly saying that the Lord is our helper. That is what we should be saying. And confessing the word. I'm going to stop right there. In two weeks, we're going to get back. This is a powerful chapter. It's going to take longer than what we have here. Amen. This is a powerful, powerful chapter. I want you to study it while we're gone and get become familiar with it. Because seeing, when you see things and you ask God and you visualize it, it becomes much more realistic. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it happen. Say hallelujah. Especially when you're praying for salvation of uh, people that you know, or family, or friends, or whatever. you got to see them as saved. And uh, you've got to see them as changed. you got to see that happening. Amen. Say, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Put your hands up. Hallelujah. We had a good time tonight. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. God broke through in a great way. Thank you, Jesus. Rabbi, bye, bye. Just pray in the, in the spirit a few moments. Just pray before we leave. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba ba sha tu di ara ra ba sha tai. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Rabashaturi Ararabashatai. Alleluia. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, really, God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Shiaranana Bashatai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. We praise you. We praise you. Praise you for a great day on Sunday. Praise you for a great holiday. Praise you for a, a salvation of souls on the holiday. Praise you. We're going to have the right attitude, an attitude of thanksgiving all through the days of the holiday. Wherever we go, we're going to be thankful. We're going to be thankful. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Manny, play that chorus you was on uh, before. Sweep over my soul. Sweet spirit, I think it was, wasn't it? Let's just see. Hey, what, was that a different chorus? What were you playing before? Um, I was leaning uh, on the everlasting, right? Yeah, I wasn't playing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, learning to lean. Learning to lean. That's it, right there. Gotta do it. Yes. Learning to lean. I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on you. Jesus, finding more power than I've ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Yes, learning to lean. what God wants you to do. Mark's Gospel uh, the other day with my wife and then my father. I read the same thing twice in one day. And we were reading about the rich young ruler. And um, Jesus, the Bible says Jesus looked at him and he loved him. He loved him. And he said, go and sell all that you have and give to the poor. Not, not some of it, everything. Go give it all away and come follow me. And the Bible says he was hurt. 
He was hurt by that because he was very wealthy and he couldn't do it. And then Jesus used that to teach the disciples. He said, it's very hard for a rich man to serve me. Very hard. Very hard. And then he said, they said, well, then who can be saved? Because being good Jews, they all wanted to be rich. Quite frankly, they all wanted to be rich. He said, who can be saved? He said, with God, all things are possible. You can be saved. No problem. No problem. And then, um, I forget how the rest of the story goes. But anyway, it was powerful. Powerful. And he was telling them, you've got to learn to live, uh, lean on me, on God. You're going to be facing many circumstances that you don't see the answer for. Many things. Many things. And then he said to them, and everyone who has left houses and fathers and mothers and riches and lands will receive a hundredfold in this life and in the world to come. And in the world to come. That's right. That's right. You're going to receive it. Expect to receive it. Amen. Expect to receive it. And uh, yeah, Peter. Peter was the guy. He always, always had an answer for everything. He said, Lord, we've left everything. We left our fishing business, our boats, our nets. Uh, we're following you around the countryside. And uh, Jesus said, yep, you did. But whoever left everything is going to get more and back. In Jesus' name, you're going to get it back. Give the Lord a hand. Amen. Hallelujah. And so he was teaching them, you got to trust God. That's all. You just got to trust God. You got to learn how to trust God. And it's a learning experience. Got to learn how to walk it out. Trust God. Hallelujah. One more time. Learning to lean. I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, as we go to our separate homes tonight, watch over us. Help us to be a light to a lost and dying world. Help us to be a light. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. This afternoon, I'll make a confession. I was watching a little news. I hadn't seen any news. I want to see what's going on. And then... I flipped the channel, and who came on but Maury Povich? Anybody know who Maury Povich is? That's crazy. Absolutely bananas. And uh, I, I, I'm ashamed that I was laughing, but it's crazy. The one guy had impregnated three women, and they were all fighting amongst themselves. And the crowd's getting in there. Yeah, I had a good, say bad things to her, you know. And I thought, my God, look, look what we have come to. Look what we come to. And they showed on the screen, they showed the pictures of these little kids, beautiful kids. Somebody doesn't know who his father is, his mother is, and you don't know who you are, and she doesn't know who she is, and it's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. Look where we're at. I mean, if Jesus is coming soon, the rapture is going to occur. That's for sure. That's for sure. We're going to leave the rest of the world to the crowd. Let them have it. In Jesus' name, glory to God. So give us a safe journey home. Amen. Amen. Yes, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. 
Yes, it does. It belongs to Jesus. 